That's the best workout I've had in a while. You start to crave healthier foods. 47 minutes, 400 calories. I am a little bit overwhelmed and I've played myself. Monday the 22nd. About 55 minutes. Tonight's dinner, we have leftover donatos and I added an apple and some carrots. It's 7.23 on a Tuesday. I'm at the grocery store before work and there's literally no cars here. I love this. This is gonna be the time I start coming. You better believe I'm grabbing coffee this morning. in less than 30 minutes it's 75 soft day 23 i just got this lovely car mount and this is elite it was like eight bucks from amazon i'll link it in my amazon storefront and put it in the descriptions and pin a comment but seriously this is just phenomenal and i feel like it's upped my vlog game so much i got my black coffee and my water and I'll be making my soup very soon. I'm pretty hungry already and it's only 10 a.m. This is what our lovely soup looks like. I'm so excited, it smells incredible. Mmm, that is so good. I honestly may have made it a little too spicy, but this is definitely ready to eat. I'm going to prep some for my lunches for the next two days and get it all in the fridge. So I did 30 minutes of walking around outside while my oil's getting changed and I just did 30 more minutes. It's day 23. This is what my calendar looks like so far. I would really like to, <laughs> to kick it up a notch because I wanted to be under 195 for the end of the year. So I do have just a little bit of time left, just over a week. I'm doing some self-care. I have not taken a bath in so long. I have the water running. I have the bubble bath in. I have a large water and I'm just gonna sit in there and relax. 75 soft day, 24. I cannot believe it. I'm almost a third of the way done with this challenge. It's gone pretty quickly. I'm tired, but knowing I'm about to be one third of the way done, I feel like it's just the motivation and pop I need. And I'm excited. I'm going to crush it today. I've got my lunch packed. I've got water. I've got coffee. I'm going to have a really good workout and we're going to just keep crushing our goals. It's almost nine o'clock. It is a Wednesday. I still have another day I need to work in the office this week. I have cabbage soup I need to make and I am a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> I hate when I get to this point and I haven't. Oh, my dog is wanting to join in on the conversation. <laughs> I hate when I get to this point and I haven't worked out yet because like I said, it's almost nine and I still have a 45 minute workout to get in. But I want to post this YouTube video. I was looking at Simi Sweeney's workout and diet. I want to get this posted. And then I'm gonna get my workout in and then maybe we're gonna make some soup and go to sleep. It's 9.30, I've not done my workout and I've played myself. So let's get a workout in. Okay, 35 minutes. That's the best workout I've had in a while. And obviously I still have 10 more minutes. I'm going to be on the rowing machine because it's week four. We gotta push it. We gotta start doing harder workouts to continue seeing results. And I hit all my goals.
Solid 10 and a half minutes. I actually feel phenomenal. I need to get in a better mindset when it comes to my workouts. I'm doing 45 minutes anyway. I need to stop trying to multitask and just focus on giving it my all because I feel so much better and the calorie burn is so much higher when I really just pump it. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. I'm laying in bed. I just showered. I'm going to read my book. I am pacing ahead. I'm on page... 296 it's day 24 so by the end of the day i should be at 240 i do really like this book i'm gonna be sad when it's over it's day 25 i am very cold i'm working from home my water i got my coffee and I just can't believe we're already a third of the way done with this challenge. I'm very, very happy that I did this. It's definitely the boost I needed to really work out more, get in a better routine, get out of my head so much. And I do, the thing I like about these challenges is it does kind of force you to get back into it. Like last night when it was 9, 9.30, I would not have worked out if I wasn't doing this, if I wasn't filming this for YouTube. This is keeping me accountable. You watching this are keeping me accountable. So thank you for that because truly, I think I would have given up without it. It's motivating to see my progress. It's motivating to see my growth throughout all this. And I think forcing yourself to build these routines, I've seen so many different things of like 21 days, 60 some days, like however long it takes to build a routine and create a habit just being consistent is so important. Whether the workout is your best workout or your worst workout, getting out there, being a, being consistent is really, really crucial to your weight loss journey. <laughs> it's in the 40s right now, so I'm out with Hank it's on a walk, and it seriously feels like summer. It's so nice. Oh, it's such a relief after how cold it's been. It's snowy and icy and it's just beautiful out. Beautiful. All right, for day 25, I did an hour of walking inside, 25 minutes outside. Good morning. Can I please do a large black iced coffee? 189, thank you. Thank you. Large black iced coffee secured. I love McDonald's iced coffee. If you're sleeping on it, you should go try it. I actually think it's very good, but that could just be me. I wanted to let you guys know I got this salad. It is from my favorite restaurant. There's dates, beans, goat cheese, avocado, nuts. It is so good. And I've never been this excited. Like truly, I was thinking about this all morning. I was so excited to pick this up. It smells amazing and I feel like this is part of the health journey. You start to crave healthier foods. You want to nourish your body with good calories and good fats and I'm just so excited. <laughs> All right, a nice Friday speed walk. I feel amazing and I'm ready for dinner. I'm going to have a date night with my husband. So I will be drinking a little bit, but I don't feel bad about it. I mean, I haven't been like craving it or anything. It's been like two weeks since I last drank. I'm just so much more focused on my workout goals, but there's a brewery we really love going to. So I think we're gonna go there and just enjoy the night. Brussels sprouts and sweet potato fries. Jalapeno pizza. Day 27. Saturday morning breakfast. I have some hash browns, turkey sausage, Greek yogurt with honey, strawberries, and sliced almonds. I've been up working on my YouTube video for the past five hours. The last thing I want to do right now is work out. I just want to shower, have a lazy movie day, eat charcuterie, but I'm going to get not just a walking workout in. We're gonna do a tough workout. We're going to burn a lot of calories. We're gonna do this thing. <sighs> 47 minutes, 400 calories. 
I'm very sweaty. I was thinking I'm gonna stop and go upstairs, shower and eat lunch. But I was like, you know what? It's the weekend. I need to be pushing myself a little bit harder. So I'm gonna do 10, 15 minutes on the elliptical just to end out the day because every little push will compound and just make me that much better in the long run. All right, did an extra 17 minutes. I am hyped up right now, I'm feeling good. Look how close I am to closing my move goal. This is my lunch today. I'm having some of the chorizo chili that my husband made. It's so delicious and it has a ton of protein in it. And I'm having one slice of the jalapeno pizza that we ordered yesterday on our date night. Balance is so important when it comes to a weight loss journey and making changes that are going to be sustainable. I don't personally think you have to fully give up the foods you love or drinking or, you know, stuff like that. I don't think you need to go zero or a hundred. I think you can do some stuff in moderation and you just have to be smart about it. Tonight's charcuterie board. I'm so excited for this. It's Sunday the 28th, so we're about four weeks in once we finish today. I'm feeling good. It's 11.42. I've just been on my walking pad and working on my YouTube channel. This is just the start today. I want to start vamping up my workouts, especially on the weekend when I don't have anything else going on. So I started my day with this walk. And then later, I want to also go on a walk with my dog or do some stuff on the elliptical. But we're really going to be pushing ourselves because I'm already starting to see things slow down. And I want that momentum to keep up. Strong start to the morning. Making some oven roasted carrots. Leftover pizza and carrots for lunch. Just finished another 48 minute walk while I'm working on another YouTube video. You can still enjoy the things you love in moderation. I love charcuterie. I will not give charcuterie up, but just making it a little bit healthier, adding lots of veggies, adding a whole apple, adding some lower calorie meat options to make it work for your goals. Week four complete. Monday the 29th. Well, we've officially made it four weeks in this challenge. We're over a third of the way done. I can't believe it. This was a really fun, really interesting week. I did a cabbage soup cleanse for a few days during it just to try to mix things up. I was going outdoors more, which I noticed was a huge difference with my energy levels and just my overall happiness. I really, really noticed a difference when the weather gets better and being able to spend more time outdoors. I enjoyed spending more time with my dog and going on walks and was really pushing myself more in my workouts and definitely noticed on the scale the difference of doing that. I have now been under 200 more consistently so I'm excited to continue this growth and see where I end up. We're almost done with the full first month and it's looking like I'm right around down 10 pounds in the first month which is just insane. And I'm very excited to see where the next few weeks go. I'm about to finish my book, so I'm gonna be starting a new one soon. I think the next one I'm reading is this book I found about nutrition and like eating triggers, which I would really like to learn more about. I don't feel like I'm restricting myself in any way. I still went out to eat, had a wonderful time with my husband. I just, I don't feel like I wanna be super social just because my biggest concern is like undoing the progress I'm making, but really successful week four. I'm very excited and very proud of my results so far. If you want to see how I do the rest of the challenge, please hit the subscribe button and be sure to check out the other vlog videos I've made so far of weeks one through three, if you haven't seen them already. And the walking pad that I show all the time, I have in my Amazon storefront. So that is in my description. All right, thanks so much for watching. Bye.